hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is mary and i am a skincare enthusiast so in today's video i'll be discussing body lotions that are very very good for dark knuckles i mean when i talk about dark knuckles the ones on your hands and the ones on your toes and the ones on your knee and elbow too i think yeah so um before we get into the video if you're new on my channel please click the subscribe button like and comment on this video because i post amazing content and if you're old here yeah, guys are amazing thanks for coming back to watch my video once again so yeah let's get into the video Okay, so before I get into the video, I would like to say that if you have dark knuckles, you don't need to fret. See guys, it's okay. It's normal. I mean, we all have made mistakes or most of us have made mistakes in using bad products or bad skincare because of our ignorance. Like, when I was so young, my mom didn't really know much about skincare. All she knew was, oh, I have a fair child. I want to maintain her skin. And there was this general idea that, oh, if you're fair, you need to use products that stay to wiping to maintain that fairness, which is a very big lie. Or my mom didn't know us at that time and it kind of affected my skin in a way when i got to university and that was when i actually sat up and like okay okay i need to take some research and then i got into the world of skincare and then i started feeding my skin the right way and my skin healed and i, I can literally walk anywhere with so much confidence because like i know that my skin is at where i want it to be even though not exactly where i want it to be but I'm still proud of it because I know I'm giving it the right food and it's healthy as much as it can be. Um, first, I will start by saying that if you're fair skin, do not have that mentality that you need to use white products to maintain your skin. It's a very big lie. Products that I use on my skin, a dark skin person can use it. Period. Um, because most of these whitening products are eventually the cause of hyperpigmentation and eventually the cause, cause of dark knuckles. Most of I know we all want to have that clean feet, we all want to have that clean knee, clean hands, and all of that. Although there are some skin, um, there's some hyperpigmentation that was caused by probably maybe I had if you crawl as a baby, like if you crawl with your BNE or you knew too much, it, your skin gets more hyperpigmented. Or I heard that sometimes the ones on the hands can be hereditary basically so yeah calm down so now I'm going to let you guys know how you can take care of your skin better to help um, fade off the dark knuckles and help your skin look more presentable let me know it's what presentable because it's your skin wear it with confidence like you don't care who is looking wear it with confidence so I wouldn't use the word more presentable because nah like you can just like body lotions i'm going to talk about body lotions that you can use that would help your skin that will help you love your skin more and help your skin stay clean and look more healthy and i will start by saying that there is the alpha body lotion i've talked about this body lotion countless times on my channel because like this body lotion is super effective for this particular role of helping with dark knuckles and stuff i know like of a friend of mine that used um organic skincare products and he really gave her dark knuckles i promise you she's not a dark skin person but you would think she actually bleached but she did not not like she did not because she used an organic product that was bleaching and she didn't even know it was bleaching because in her head she was getting the caramel one <laughs> In her face, she was using the caramel or whatever, it was like taking her skin to another level and then I, so she was really worried and I told her to try so she didn't bother her head her head. Because the first step to clearing your skin problem first is to take the problem out of your head. Take that problem out of your head. So that you're not going to be expecting fast results. You're not going to be so worried that you use the wrong product on your skin because oh my god, I have this problem. I want it out out. out. No, take that problem out of your head. Just be relaxed and be calm do the right things when i say do the right things your skin just needs proper exfoliation hydration use of sunscreen bam and you're good to go like you have nothing to worry about because you're giving your food the right you're giving your skin the right food that it needs so when you take it out of your head and you're doing the right things i promise you your skincare problem we saw before you even realize it you're like oh wow my skin is clean. I'm getting compliments i love your skin what do you use and stuff like that and they can actually spread the word to people that this is what you need to use to take care of your skin basically so yes the alpha body lotion is very good i started to get the alpha body lotion and the alpha body wash and to try and use it with a very nice moisturizer when i used the alpha body lotion when i was in school um it wasn't moisturizing enough for me so i followed it up with um what's it called this neutrogena hydro boost bottle moisturizer it was really really nice 
that body moisturizer is really moisturizing it's lightweight i really like it and it complemented the alpha body lotion very well for me and that was it i stayed consistent and i promise you not like i had dark, dark knuckles but my knee was kind of hyperpigmented i was told i was caused like i knelt too much and i crawled a lot um but and then but my hands i never used to like have like any dark whatever on my hands when i was growing up but when i got to university i used a very bad lotion it gave me that so when i started using this alpha body lotion i realized that my skin started to appear better it started to look better and i could literally just wave my hands and like oh and that was it for me and that was because i was using products that had um exfoliating ingredients in them exfoliating acids which are the alpha hydroxy acids alpha butane the glycolic acid the beta butane pha everything basically there are so many lactic acid there's so many of them so you could try the alpha body lotion then you could also try amlactin and as soon as lactic acid which is suitable for people with sensitive skin or pregnant women so lactic amlactin is very 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 good I really like it because it's even very good for chicken skin um keratosis polaris very effective you should go for the amlactin so and it's highly moisturizing so uh, you might not really need to support it with another moisturizer um these products are very good another one is the glycone this is on the eye side <laughs> the is on the eye side guys but it is very good to give that clean skin it's really very effective being that give that clean skin and as this urban this period that urban skin just released um i think it's the even body treatments something like that it's also very very nice it's effective but it's on the eye side but i will be mentioning some ingredients i think i mentioned the ingredients already that you should look out for if you can't afford any of these products that i have mentioned which i'll put the price tag because i talk about products it could be the eye one it could be the cheap one but you know expensive is subjective to people it's not objective it's subjective it could be expensive to you and might not be expensive to somebody else so it's quite subjective at the end of this so i just talk about products whatever fits into your pocket you, you, you do that's why i don't just feel to I don't just mention product i mention ingredients just in case like you can't you can't afford to get those products or you'll be able to get those products because you feel like they are too expensive and you wouldn't want to like get into the world of skincare and be able to maintain that you can look out for these ingredients that i mentioned on my channel and use it as a focus to buy your skincare products basically so look out for glycolic acid lactic acid look out for ahas look out for all of this and you're good to go and another thing that's been trending online is how to clear your ipad we mentioned by using products like tretinol or retinol alongside with um hydroquinone there was a time i was using this ordinary glycolic acid alone and it was also calm it was not like it was helping it, it was clearing you know like it made it fade completely no it was clearing it, clearing it gradually that's why i said if you're using all of these products don't expect that oh it's going to fade tomorrow or it's going to fade next week or it's going to fade next month it doesn't work like that it could take a year because like hyperpigmentation is a lot to do with you could literally clear your hyperpigmentation once one particular time and then one particular time again it comes up it just comes up like that so it's just very good not to put these problems in your head and just do the right things and like you know sometimes i just get like maybe rashes or maybe a little dark spots here and i'm not bothered because like i know that it's going to go or maybe a pimple pops because mm, you know hormonal acne and all of that and i'm not worried about it because i know it's going to go and it's just how it that's how, that's how it works in the world of skincare when you're doing the right thing you have nothing to worry about except probably the products are not sitting right well for you anymore and you just want to change your product which is very fine just make sure that you do a patch test always so there's uh back to what i was saying the tretinol and hydroquinone i can't for one say that this is very effective but it has been trending and people have been saying this is actually very effective so i got this triluma because i want to do a review on it because i'm like oh tretinol and hydroquinone tretinol and hydroquinone okay let's get into let's, let's get into this let's see if it's gonna work because like, i have some scars guys i i don't want to say i tend to enjoy a lot sometimes so i have some scars i actually want to deal with so let's see how triluma well what triluma we do but i'm not saying hydroquinone is not bad but make sure that you, you know how to use that. i rather prefer that i try hydroquinone is recommended by dermatologists or that you just buy it and if you're just buying it okay that's fine make sure you know how to use 
hydroquinone and chestnut is very strong um if i was going to do anything on my face or anything on my face, i'd rather go with retinol because like to me it's calmer than retinol i feel like retinol is dramat dramatological recommended um so yeah that's just it retinol and hydroquinone in one body try that's called trinoma um i'm going to do a review on it very soon so you would want to subscribe to my channel and keep watching to see if it's actually going to work for really dark areas or tough spots or um dark knuckles or whatever so yeah just keep watching and you'll definitely see me post about it one day because i'm still observing for the moment so yeah that's just basically it um may i always remember that you need to give your feet your hands your elbows every part of your body proper hydration and you will definitely see that result that you're looking for and make sure you take it off your mind so that you're not looking for a fast fast effective result and then you now end up doing the wrong things or buying the wrong thing and please take your mind or eyes from products that say oh it's clear your dark knuckles in two weeks or from products that state that um it will do this to your skin in two weeks or uh, products that have whitening in them Take your mind off them or that idea that oh don't let it touch your hand wash your hands please just be safe don't, you don't want to be stressing you want to use your products peacefully so just go for exfoliating products and also go for hydrating products you can always combine who says you need to use one body lotion i don't understand you can use an exfoliating lotion i also layer it with a moisturizing body lotion and if you can you can always do that with an oil you have nothing to worry about and always remember skincare is a journey it's not a magic it's a journey so that's just it i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you really liked watching the video please click that subscribe button once again like and comment on this video i look forward to seeing you guys again on my channel bye and always remember that whatever question you ask or whatever comment you drop i'm always there to respond i'll see you guys bye can't take my tutorial to 2k let's keep going <laughs>